So I just finished watching Arnau's video where he claims we can create a style guide in seconds using AI, specifically using Reloom's AI powered style guide builder. Now I've used Reloom components before to speed up my workflow and create websites in days and not months, call me Bruce Wayne daddy, but I haven't really tried their style guide builder. So I've spent the past week testing it out for myself. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what I've learned and how to use Reloom style guide builder to get faster, more profitable on projects and become Bruce Wayne too. Also, go subscribe to this channel and show them some love. Tell them Batman sent ya. Let's talk about my current workflow. These days when I start a project, I usually start with a pre-existing design system. Create a design system from scratch, do you think I'm actually insane? That would take forever. So for SaaS projects, I'm using Shat's CN UI kit, but for websites, I'm usually using Reloom's Figma kit. They have a large library of low fidelity components and it's super fast to make changes because I just need to update variables and textiles. Wow, design systems are cool. This can actually save me tons of time. It takes me a, a couple days or so to set up and customize, but after using Reloom's AI workflow, I can actually go from idea to sitemap to wireframe to customize style guide in seconds and directly export it to Figma where Reloom automatically updates my variables, textiles, and components automatically which I thought was the coolest part actually, with the extra benefit of actually having a whole library of more sections and components that I could use in their library. So let me show you exactly how it works, starting from the beginning. So this is Reloom's intended AI workflow. And let's start with an example of a potential client project. Let's say I'm creating a website for Wayne Reserve, an exclusive invite only suit brand. I'm gonna go to reloom.io and I'm gonna simply describe the client's business right here. I'm gonna click on generate and within seconds, it generates a sitemap. I can add, edit or delete pages and sections right here on this page. And when I click on the wireframe tab, their AI magic does its thing and creates wireframes automatically, which I think is pretty cool. But where I think the real magic happens is in their style guide tab. I can click on the shuffle button and Reloom changes my colors, typography, UI styling automatically. But it actually gets way more interesting. If I want, I could just shuffle my heading fonts. Or if I have a specific font in mind, I could search for it, click on the font, and then lock it right here. Now when I shuffle, my heading font is locked and doesn't change. You can also choose specific background colors for each section. Reloom also suggests some images, but I've created some of my own, so I can actually just upload them directly on here. It's pretty impressive how far I can customize this homepage or this concept. Now, it's typically at this stage where it would make the most sense to actually present these multiple concepts to clients to see which style that they like best, reducing the amount of provisions, saving yourself tons of time later in the project. I've been burned before. Trust me, you're going to want to present multiple concepts at first just to get the client saying yes to a direction. When we finally decided on a particular style that we like, we can now actually export this directly into Figma and start customizing our style guide and our designs even further. <laughs> So let me introduce you to my favorite website builder, Framer. Out of all the website builders that I've tried, I think it's the most powerful and yet the most simple website builder I've ever used. So later in this video, I'm gonna show you not just how to import these Reloom components into Figma, but actually how to take your Figma designs into Framer and actually bring those designs to life. So you wanna stay tuned till the end of this video where I do exactly that. So you'll want to duplicate Reloom's Figma kit, and I've left a link for you down in the description down below. And um, as we're waiting for this to duplicate, I just wanna point out a couple different things here on this Figma kit. Reloom has a default style guide for us right here. Now, with this workflow, all of this stuff is gonna automatically change, and that's kind of the magic of this. And so we're gonna go to Reloom's plugin right here, and uh, we're gonna sign in, I've already signed in, but we're gonna select on the specific project, and then we're gonna go to Style Guide, and we're gonna click on the specific concept that we want to import. And uh, this is gonna import, this took about 10 minutes, but I sped it up here. Once this is imported, that's when you'll see the magic happen on the Style Guide, and you'll see exactly what I mean. So let's check out our type 
typography and textiles. All of our H1s through H6s are updated. And if you go to the style guide page, check that out. Our font name is updated even, and all of our style guides is updated with this exact theme that we want. This is a phenomenal starting place. Of course, I can go in and customize the style guide to further fine tune it to my liking, but this is a phenomenal start. As we see here, we even have radius, we have shadows, we have icons that are set to white. And then this is exactly what I mean as well. As we check out the rest of the components that are here on this library, those have also been updated with textiles, with button components, with the exact colors that I want. So. I actually want to teach you how to import these designs that we've just created with the help of AI and with the whole style guide um, and how we can actually import that into Framer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that all of these components are responsive uh, with its parent container. And so each section I'm going to set to fill, but the parent container I'm going to set to fix and I'm going to set to 120 uh, or 1200 pixels. And then I'm going to open up Framer's plugin and I'm going to copy this entire thing. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Framer and I'm going to paste it right here. And I'm going to let it do its thing and boom, everything copied and pasted. And then I'm going to set this parent frame to fit to make sure everything is fit there. But you can see it's even responsive because I've set those sections to fill. Another really interesting thing too is that you can actually create your own textiles pretty easily with Framer. You can just select on a heading like this, for example, and then you can scroll to textiles, and then you could select on a new style and it'll create that new style automatically. So I think that's pretty cool. And if you need some inspiration for your portfolio website, I got some bangers right here or right there. All right, till next time, God bless you. Batman out.